service procurement the service procurement is that whatever the service you have procured externally the yeah. painting service okay. cleaning so service. before that uh, yeah see actually this uh, session actually it is you know we are prepared our fit gap analysis okay and now we are going to present to the customer so now customer have you know before you are presenting this process we should uh, you know gone through our scope process and based on that we need to you know uh, tell, you know so which plant or which uh, particular you know uh, the divisions or which particular uh, company codes we have the process so you have to explain in the <coughs> scope level you should not tell only from sap perspective what is the gl creation and all so you know so you have to explain you have to correlate this with our sap you know with our uh, you know existing our assets process then you have to explain okay yeah okay with the plant and uh, all this yeah could you uh, hide it actually there is a stop sharing next to there is hide option click on that yeah please go okay. yeah is a procurement of a service uh, in the procurement of a service the whatever the service is procure externally painting service cooling service cleaning service is uh, procure externally so create a service master first after that service purchase requisition is created with the item category which we are using after that approve that purchase requisition after that create the base upon the purchase requisition create the purchase order with the item category d and account assignment using the account assignment k also cost center and after that uh, approve the purchase order after that the ml81 is decoded for service enter sheet and uh, this uh, ml81 is approved the release release up uh, release the service center okay see here actually there are multiple type of services right oh, yes. so let's say there is a cost center level services suppose they have any kind of repairs and services for any kind of machines like a xerox machine or any kind of printer issues or any kind of ac repairs and also these are all the maintenance so yes. this maintenance yes we have the service entry sheet creation process correct Yes. So now another case, second case, there is a maintenance, right? Especially from the plant maintenance, they are going to create the uh, you know uh, plant maintenance order with reference to that you know if they are going to do any kind of services on that vehicle or equipment, and this particular machine, suppose the radiator, there is a services is required. So then they are going to remove that particular spare from the uh, uh, you know uh, equipment. So then they are going to. Uh, then they are going to send it back to the agency the you know the vendor who is going to provide the services right so here what is the requirement is first case we don't have any kind of warranty process okay so when there is a uh, you know uh, the warranty case the result they want to maintain the warranty details while you do the goods receipt okay so while you do the goods receipt they want to update the warranty so there is a transaction code called iq01 Okay, so you just refer later. IQ zero one. There is a transaction uh, code. Uh, but uh, I'm not uh, refer the blueprint based on the yeah. standard. Uh, the standard yeah. scenario I'm present. That's uh, what I'm suggesting you. Everyone yeah, yeah. first to go through the scope yeah. so that you'll get the idea. But still, I'm telling yeah. uh, you know the uh, as per the client representative, I'm just telling that. Okay. So we have the maintenance. There is a warranty process is there. So once you've done the goods receipt, suppose you've done this, you know, you send the material, uh, you know, through 541, right? This is a services. So yes. you are sending the material to the vendor. Yes. And that process you have to be incorporated, right? So yes. maybe uh, you create. There are three different services. Okay. So that's the reason yeah. I'm just telling you. So you create the three different services. Case one, case two, case three. So case one, there is a general services. So there is no any kind of warranty process. So case two, there is a maintenance services. There is a warranty process is there. So in the warranty process, we have the material. We are sending the radiator as the you know spares and consumable material. We are sending to the external vendor. After that, you know we are going to maintain the warranty. Okay. So suppose when you are going to procure the new new material, yes, warranty is there. When you are sending the existing spare and you are sending to the external you know service provider, then they will say that let's say the initially it's a one year warranty. and you have only for and after that you know maybe 6 months you used so now vendor says that okay the warranty will process will be only for 6 months so now you need to maintain there is a iq01 is the transaction code based on the material number based on the serial number so this material should be a serial number material serialized material and based on the material serial number you have to maintain the warranty so just to go through that iq01 iq02 iq09 transaction okay. and how to maintain the warranty and the requirement is while do the goods receipt 
based on the goods received that automation has to be done so iq01 manually they will maintain based on the material based on the serial number what is the warranty start date warranty end date but the requirement is you need to automate this process you just you know make it uh, the next uh, you know presentation you please add that so this is the maintenance services case 2 yes so when it comes to case 3 there is a project level services okay so again you have to discuss this process to your internal team again so let's everyone can aware of that and the, there is a project level services yes there is a wbs element then for that particular wbs there is a budget price is there okay for example every project there is a budget price so when you are going to convert at this purchase requisition into purchase order yes there is a wbs level there is a budget check right so again they will fic or they will maintain the budget check in the wbs level but now what their expectation the client expectation is so while you are going to create the material in the purchase order right so each line item they want to check the budget based on the budget price they have maintained in the wbs okay so please note down these are all the things and um, you just to please add in that you know uh, you know uh, the next level you know uh, your fit gap and yeah. uh, so project level what is the requirements so that is a budget you know wbs there is a budget they are maintaining when you are going to convert it into purchase order there is a tolerance limit okay for example yes. project oh, 1 no. so i have to maintain 5 percentage tolerance limit you can accept which means your met your material price is 100 and you have the 5 percentage given maybe in the material master you have given there is a 5 percentage so 100 plus 5 105 should be there in your po if the vendor is giving the quotation 110 another vendor given 120 30 but you created the po with reference to 110 system should stop it so how you can able to control in our sap while create the purchase order for project procurement so what is the requirement budget price where where they are maintaining so where they are maintaining the tolerance limit budget price plus tolerance percentage has to be calculated your PO price should not be exceeded okay so please note down so make it uh, you know three different process uh, uh, three different okay. business flow diagram uh, it is or maybe three different uh, ppt also will be better okay now you can proceed that yeah next is a one second it's a contracting uh, is a subcontracting process subcontracting means so what uh, uh, raw material sent to the vendor and say uh, vendor send the finish convert this raw material to the finished material uh, through uh, in subcontracting create the purchase requisition uh, after that create the bill of material bill of materials means uh, whatever uh, uh, in the uh, finished material whatever the raw material is required is 10 kg of the uh, one bottle uh, one bottle whatever the raw material required for the kg per kg is a uh, one bottle required the 10 kg of the raw material this that's why create the uh, bill of material after the create the purchase order this purchase order create the uh, transfer the material to the vendor through subcontracting cockpit after that uh, create the chalan for a subcontracting uh, chalan and after that uh, uh, transfer the finished material to own uh, by 101 uh, and background is of 543 moment i please use uh, create uh, after that uh, is uh, if the is uh, material is a uh, uh, not a good quality or damage the uh, return back to the some quantity is uh, using the 542 movement type is a uh, return back uh, and after that uh, reconcile the chalan uh, and after that do the invoice receipt I am not adding the reconciliation okay. process. So before that, your PPT should have the template. We shared the template. What should be the first slide? What should be the second slide? Yeah, yeah. So we mentioned, but you have just only one or two slides. So you have to follow our template, right? So we have the yeah, process. Yeah. What is the purpose? What is the detailed process? So this information and what is the roles and authorization? What all the roles are there? And you are not using our flow diagram also. So we have the flow diagram, right? Based okay, on the I mean, role basis. The standard yeah. uh, process flow yeah. and so based just on design that. based on the role basis. Already we shared the template, even all okay. the process. So just make it those kind of changes. You can do that. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So Thank fine. You. So maybe who is next quickly? Yeah. Sir, so yeah, please. Hello. Hello. Yeah, please share your screen. So, hello. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'm doing. Miss Amita, Amita is sharing, right? Yeah. So, just explain what is the process and uh, what you are going to explain. 
మీకు ఐ హ్యావ్ షేర్ ఇట్ సార్ కునాల్ ని షేర్ దా సార్ కెన్ ఐ స్టార్ట్ యా నో ప్రాబ్లం నో ప్రాబ్లం ప్రొసీడ్ సో యా ఓకే సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ది వీడియో అనాలిసిస్ ఫర్ ది ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ప్రాసెసెస్ ఇన్ ది సఫామే ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ అ బ్యాక్ టు బ్యాక్ ప్రాసెస్ సో థర్డ్ పార్టీ హలో yeah you just make it slide no uh, remove that the hide option click on the hide option make it a slide show huh? slide show you can do that thank you ma'am you know but i need we need not have to do that you ready yeah so is it okay now yes yes proceed hello okay so in this afami this process is also called as a back to back process so this third the process is about a uh, materials <coughs> procuring for, from the uh, external vendor and okay. supplying it to the so, could you explain uh, uh, our customer okay could you so, explain what is afami what they are doing could you explain more details about the so safami is a one of the uh, division of the uh, rizayat group and uh, sofa me deals with the constru- uh, manufacturing of a construction equipment uh, <coughs> so they uh, uh, construct the different equipments like a uh, boilers uh, pressure uh, boilers and uh, then the another uh, <coughs> pressure related uh, vessel pressure vessels like that yeah so <coughs> so they cannot uh, so they cannot manufacture uh, all the goods or they don't keep the Uh, stock of uh, all these uh, materials with them so in this case uh, this uh, third party process is useful for them so whenever the uh, customer uh, uh, so whenever customer orders any material uh, that uh, they procure it from the uh, external vendor and uh, supply that external vendor supplies directly to the customer so we will see the flow diagram of it how the process flows so initially the uh customer creates a uh, cu- customer sends a sales inquiry so that goes to the customer service team so from that sales inquiry they sends a quotation to the uh, customer and cust- if customer is agreed to that then uh, he confirms it and send uh, <coughs> then the sales order is created uh, so that sales order then goes to the sales manager uh, he uh, checks it from the credit point of view and uh, approve the uh, this sales order if found everything okay then uh, from this sales order uh, one pr is automatically generated so this is the purchase requisition uh, so this purchase requisition <coughs> is generated in the purchase department purchase department clerk or uh, people over there and from that pr one po is created so purchase manager checks this po and approve this po then this po is sent to the external vendor uh, so this vendor then delivers good <coughs> this, uh, ex- this po has uh, information related to uh, material and uh, uh, to also of our customer to whom we need to uh, deliver this goods so this vendor uh, delivers this goods to our customer directly and uh, <coughs> then this uh, uh, vendor also uh, sends one uh, shipping notification to us and it is posted in our system as a uh, uh, statistical goods receipt uh, so this goods receipt doesn't create any accounting entries but it is needed for vendor invoice uh, to create the vendor invoice and with respect to this uh, from the data from this goods receipt is also used to create a uh, invoice to the customer so from that the billing is done to the customer okay so here so actually uh, yeah could you tell me what kind of material so this a uh, back to back process currently uh, safami they are using actually not so not i will not go in so much detail <clears throat> and second thing your um, uh, you know fit gap template you are not pos- you know you, you know the the way of colors the way of design because we share the template so please take the template and uh, follow the slide you know just to four slides only but follow the template and make the flow diagram also but don't copy paste from the existing one so try to you know create your no, own flow, flow diagram. diagram i have created a new one yeah. 
yeah but it looks like uh, uh, you know you are just follow the template with our existing uh, you know ppt the template uh, that flow diagram based on the role wise is just follow that the same kind of design you can use that yeah okay so just okay. let me know uh, in the drop shipment you know uh, you are telling that uh, the purchase requisition will be created automatically with reference to sales order correct yes yeah so suppose so here uh, suppose the vendor is deliver the goods right so vendor is deliver the goods so any idea uh, what would be the accounting impacts actually so physically vendor is deliver to the customer locations and uh, how uh, you are going to do you know receive in our sap system uh, so the, that vendor will send a one uh, uh, a, uh, mostly the asn uh, advance shipment notification to our system so that will uh, create one uh, statistical uh, gr so that won't have any accounting entries but it will only needed um, because we need to create a vendor invoice with respect to that and also the uh, quantities for a customer invoice will be taken from that yeah. okay so i need this process actually you know the step by step process prepare one uh, documentations and uh, please present in the saturday so how this process to be mapped in sap and what would be the accounting impacts when they are going to receive the material so you said there is no any accounting impacts so we need to check while do the goods receive so make it the complete process and uh, prepare one kind of uh, you know the screenshots in the uh, as, you know, as a you know word document or ppt document and this you just present uh, how this uh, you know third party process works and uh, you can share this uh, you know presentation by saturday is, is it fine so yeah, yeah I means so it should have also the config step you are saying yeah so currently already yeah our current system may be already they have so just check with that and uh, how we can able to execute the process maybe connect with srikanth or someone just check it already you can take the take the data also third party related so what would be the purchase order maybe what is account assignment item category maybe connect with uh, you know any mm team also so how this process already they executed same process you can execute huh? then you prepare one document yeah so please update that and uh, i need updation in your ppt also should follow the existing template the flow diagram or the initial uh, screens also should be follow with the existing uh, best practices templates okay okay so sure. and yeah so who is next uh, yeah Yeah, yeah. Quickly, sir. We don't okay. have time, so I'll be there. I, I am yeah. presenting. Please, yes. Yeah, yeah I am presenting. Are you able to see my screen? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Able uh, to see the screen, no? Okay. Yes. Yes. So this is the template. So yeah. we are using. So, so make sure everyone uh, using the same template. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, this is prepared for uh, the uh, client. Uh, I mean, uh, company uh, Rizayat GP. Actually, this uh, this company is actually uh, preparing material of a different type of uh, raw material trading service, uh, stock material, consumable. Land. So what I am uh, I am showing is uh, for uh, uh, stock material. Uh, how the procurement of uh, stock material uh, the process. Okay. okay so this is for which division so which which plant or which division you are going to execute this process uh okay plant uh, so we have uh, okay, multiple yeah multiple plants right so we have plants, uh, yes, yes. Uh, this is a rtcl we have a uh, catering division is there we have uh, so i think you might be gone through uh, the tmm uh, you know uh, Uh, scope document right so yeah. they have explained and not not fully gone because yesterday only i got so i will go through all the thing i was uh, reading when, all the documents when, uh, when when you guys are executing any process you should tell the business on which divisions you are executing this so this is not for all the divisions right stock material will not be applicable for the services 
stock metal will not be applicable for that, yes, you know, yes. you know, yeah. So for what cases the stock metal will be? So for example, there is a catering. So catering, they need uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, the uh, 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 like uh, provision items, right? So this is kind of stock again. So like that, you need to understand, you have to tell that the stock metal procuring for RTCL catering department. And this stock metal will be procuring for the Safami uh, manufacturing division. So because they are going to, for example, there is a uh, big boilers or big kind of, you know, fabrication material they are going to manufacture. For that, there is a steel plate as a raw material is required. So this steel plate has to be purchased from external vendor. So like that, you have to explain where and all the stock material procurement will be coming. So what is the impact of stock material? So then you have to go into SAP. So before that, you have to talk about the business and you should talk about that, you know, which division, what kind of procurement, what would be the impact. Then only you have to, you know, start into SAP. Uh, you know, I mean, SAP, what would be the step by steps? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, will, I will include all the things. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Proceed. So, uh, the purpose of, uh, the purpose and benefits of this uh, process is uh, to use the purchase requisition that are generated and approved based on the workflow and uh, then what we will do the sources we will uh, we will generate and uh, identify the request of code that will be sent by uh, sent to the supplier correct supplier and the prices will be finalized uh, and the receipt of quotation from the vendor uh, the finalize uh, the purchase order will be generated and approved based on the workflow whatever we defined there. So that's the purpose of uh, uh, this uh, flow, uh, this this process. And what ben benefits we will get, uh, we will streamline the procurement process in the efficient and uh, cost effective manner because it's all uh, process oriented. So step by step process are involved. So it will be uh, pro process oriented. And uh, we can monitor the procurement process in the real time. What is where it is pending, where where it is uh, uh, right now it is available. So what is the next step? So everything we can uh, get the benefit using this uh, process. And uh, all this uh, like PR, purchase request and purchase order, all are uh, um, approval based, uh, approval based workflow only. So though any point of time, uh, you know, uh, uh, the approver without approving the document, uh, the document will not be get generated. So that check we we have provided in this. And the key uh, process flows covered is uh, for the creation of a purchase request, then create and maintain RFQ, the maintain quotation which is received from uh, from our uh, uh, vendors, and uh, create and manage the purchase orders. And the manage managing the goods received once the material is received at the stores, we will we will manage the receipt of material. So these are these are the key process covered under this process. And the application what we are using is SAP S4 HANA two two zero two zero software we are using. And uh, major roles involved, company roles involved in, in this uh, process flow is uh, user who are uh, requesting the material, uh, initial requirement who are giving the uh, requirement of material, and the buyer or purchaser who raise the purchase request and uh, RFQ and PO. Yes, yes. And yes. the purchase manager who is yes yeah so here actually you know the, there is a valid point he is explained in the roles actually so this is more more important so why the roles is important so when it comes to sap you know as a consultant we will perform all the transaction for example you are a fico consultant you will create the uh, you know uh, let's say for the invoice or maybe you are going to release the invoice or you might be uh, do the payments but when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, the real time or when it's implementing for the customer locations for every transaction or every role belongs to one particular department or one particular user. So we need to specify that who will create the uh, invoice creation, what is the role for that and who will going to release the invoice or who is going to approve the invoice. And uh, so that should be, you know, who, you know, maybe he's the manager role. So manager means in finance, what is the role for that? Simply you cannot put as a manager also. So these are all the role SAP okay. provided. 
right so user department mm-hmm. or there is a buyer or purchaser see buyer is again there is a <coughs> see generally for purchaser is the role where purchase requisition also will be created in sap but but when yeah. it comes to real time so purchaser will be responsible after the pr gets approved then then rfq process or purchase order process or contract process will be taking care by the purchaser role but uh, you know i mean yeah but actually standard sap all pr po everything will be comes under purchase so we need to subdivide that the role based on the process like purchase requisition creation by user department and who will approve there is a business unit manager so he will approve the purchase requisition and purchase order process means rfq quotation purchase order contract scheduling agreement so this activity will be taking care by purchaser role okay who will approve the purchase order who will approve the quotation who will approve the contract who will approve the scheduling agreement so this role should be the purchase manager role right so like that you know the store role what would you know store means we called as a you know warehouse clerk so if you see there is a sap best practices you know uh, you know uh, the, there is a link we shared actually you, you can get it all the roles so this is the role you know the as is role actually you can say this is the role which currently they are using in their system but when it comes to sap we have to follow sap role actually the store is nothing but uh, you okay. know in, in in sap we called as a warehouse clerk right so we need to specify okay. instead of store warehouse clerk so like that the role has to be uh, changed into sap terminology you should not use with the existing what they have used but still okay you uh, at least you understand the role but we need to convert it into yeah. sap role actually okay so okay one thing is sap role i need to put and what is uh, their responsibility like uh, if it is a purchasing manager is in, in the sap role then his uh, role of uh, uh, responsibility is approving uh, Yeah, there is a flow diagram. Maybe the next slides, maybe you have the slides. That that's sufficient actually. So who is approving? Who is creating okay. the store and all? That is sufficient in the next flow diagram level. No need to specify here. So this is sufficient. So now okay. the customer should understand that SAP how to drive, where to put the gear, how to put the you know clutch and you know they should understand now. So that is the reason we are making SAP terminology. Who is creating the purchase requisition? Who is going to approve? Who is creating the purchase order? Who is going to approve the purchase order? So this role we are going to tell them. So this is the SAP uh, roles and authorization we need to follow. Okay. okay. Uh, in this process, okay, though, uh, in this process, though, what is who is the user department and who is the buyer or purchaser? See that list you will that them. yeah that list will be there so, you know when you are creating the authorization matrix okay so then we will come to know who who are all the purchaser suppose there is a ten people working for the purchase department so now we will create the roles and authorization and we will assign the basis and security team they will assign the role to the respective user okay but uh, that th- they we will share you who are how many accountants are there how many you know, accounts payable are receivable side or how many Uh, you know bank side so or you know gl side so that list we will share to you but not immediately but now you have yeah. to feed them you have to train them these are all the roles are there so gl point of view these are all the role is there up invoice point of view these are all the roles are there so later they will understand okay so this account we have 10 accountant uh, belongs to payable so then these 10 people should have only the accounts payable roles correct so that level yeah. is, you know training we need to provide now so how many users so who are the who are the user that list we will share later you have to prepare the complete common roles and authorization you have to assign the role if it is accountant then you have to assign how many five people or 10 people in that particular user id level we are going to maintain the role okay yeah yeah okay got it got it thank you okay i will pro- proceed yeah so this is the uh, process flow diagram actually the determination of requirements so what is the material required okay what kind of material required that actually user department will inform through either mail or uh, other communication so once uh, the requirement has come uh, the buyer uh, who are purchasing this uh, material who is having the creation access will create the purchase request in the system and uh, then he will actually this uh, p- purchase uh, purchase request will be sent to purchasing manager based on the workflow defined the approval will be uh, pr approval will be done by the purchasing manager once the purchase request is approved then i think again it has uh, come back to uh, buyer 
for creation of the RFQ. Then the buyer will actually send the uh, RFQ, uh, request to code to different ven uh, vendors. Uh, maybe, say example, uh, he will request to code from the three vendors based on the company requirement. The three, there is minimum three quotations are required from the vendor. So he will send the RFQ to three vendors. Then he will collect the quotation from the vendors and he will compare compare the price which is the best price suitable for uh, the you your voice is low sorry Shiju, your voice is low can you please come closer to the mic yeah now now it is okay hello yeah now it's better yeah, now it's better yes okay okay so after receiving the quotation from the different vendors so what the buyer will do is he will compare the price okay which is the best uh, uh, price uh, he will what he will do he will based on the price comparison he will create the uh, creation of a purchase order so one of the order confirmation he will be sending to the vendor uh, other other side there will be approval process for a po uh, the again the uh, who are assigned purchasing manager or the responsible approval authority will approve the purchase order. Once the approved purchase order is done, then it will be sent for order confirmation. Then vendor uh, vendor confirm that. Then what he will do? He will send the uh, he will send the material to stores stores along with the vendor invoice. So once the vendor invoice and the delivery is uh, done, what the store? Uh, I think warehouse. Uh, person will he will create the goods receipt note in the system okay so other side what the process will happen the based on the invoice received from the vendor our buyer will do the invoice verification process in system based on the invoice verification once it is confirmed it will be sent to accounts payable department that is finance department for payment process so these are the all the process which is involved for the procurement of a material. So uh, that's all I have. Uh, I have completed this. So anything, any any process change or anything has to be included. Kindly inform. Hello. Any questions? Okay. Hello. Fine. So here actually uh, the role there is a changes is required. Uh, so like for example, uh, there is a purchaser or buyer. Okay, you can change is a business. Uh, you know, uh, mm, yeah, purchaser role should put it as a purchase. You know, when create the purchase order. Okay. So just noting down, then you can able to do the changes. Okay. So it should be purchase. Uh, you know, business. Yeah. I mean, business unit, uh, uh, yes, you can create, uh, they are going to create the purchase requisition, then there is approval process also, right? And uh, then that should be one yeah. role. Then second level, there is a RFQ, purchase order, approval should be the second level. There is a purchasing role should be there, okay? So you mentioned quotation one, quotation two, um, you, everything you mentioned under like uh, even purchaser role itself, create for RFQ, you know, uh, create uh, purchase request, and purchase request going for approval no no left side purchase. actually the role of uh, different roles are there like uh, user department yeah i think buyer uh, and supplier yeah, yeah i shared one slide yesterday we discussed actually that slide we have the clear details so who will create okay. the purchase requisition <coughs> who will approve the purchase requisition so that details we, we have so just refer that existing okay. one uh, we yesterday i think for all the process we mentioned for you know we discussed right uh, day before yesterday i guess so just check that uh, process uh, and uh, how the purchaser role performs and the purchase manager role performs and warehouse role, clerk role performs. Okay. So purchasing okay. manager will approve on the purchase order only. Okay. So suppose you mentioned that uh, uh, purchase request will approve to uh, purchasing manager. So it should not be bus purchasing manager. That should be a business unit manager. Okay business unit manager okay okay you are creating then rfq then maintain our uh, request to quotation then price comparison create our purchase order so uh, approval process should be you know the you know the diagram should be different right so that's uh, you know you, uh, yes or no option should be there if it is yeah. no 
so you know then again they are amending the purchase order or amending the purchase requisition okay if it is approval is success okay. then it will go for next process right so that okay. Uh, okay. you can change it so then uh, purchasing manager role should be only for approving the pr not for approving the pr store role will be delivery of supply okay so goods receipt process delivery of supply fine then they are doing the goods receipts then you can add that is a quality process okay if it is just required you okay. can add one quality uh, decision making if it is uh, quality is success then it will go for the unrestricted stock if it is no it will go for the blocked stock from the blocked stock you put as a return delivery process so return to vendor okay. process also. okay mm -hmm. So accounts payable uh, okay. invoice verification should not should not be a purchaser role. That should be the accounts payable role, known uh, <coughs> that you can put as a finance. Okay, make a finance as the role, or you just get the role from you know finance team. What is the role for you know creating the you know accounts payable invoice, and what is the role to create the payment also? Those two role instead of adding, we don't have space. Make it as a finance. Finance will create the invoice verification, and uh, then uh, you know uh, yeah. payment will be done by. Again, finance. So that level, it is okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So some uh, slight changes. Please go through the previous slide what we shared in the group. So based on that, you just amend that. So everything is fine. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, quickly, you can. Who is next? Yes. Sir, I am going to present. Yeah, yeah. Please quickly. Yeah. Is it visible? Yeah, yeah, please go back. So, please explain before executing the business process. Please talk about the divisions, please talk about the company, what they are doing. So, those information is more important actually. Sir, uh, if I uh, see here. I think I need to okay, present entire screen. Okay. So if I uh, see here in Safami, then I, I can see it like BU, uh, we are doing for intra company. Sorry, sir. For inter company, I'm doing. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. So I'm do, uh, we are doing for Safami group. Okay, so could you tell me what is intercompany? What are the divisions you are going to perform the intercompany between which division to which division or which company code to which company code? And explain about company code one what they are doing, company code two what they are doing, and then what is the requirement uh, from company code two? Why they are getting the request from company code one? So like that, the business you just whatever you understanding, please explain the business here. Yeah. Okay, sir. So in intercompany, basically. Uh, we uh, we have two plan uh, two company one is supplying and one is receiving. So for example, in intercompany uh, from company A to company B. So don't no, tell no no here you know don't material A vendor A should tell the reality who is the company. Okay, whether it's a Safami means okay what they are doing. So don't say company A company B. It's a Safami. Yeah. Okay. So just tell about Safami, Safami business process. Okay. And then you tell that from whom you are getting the services or you are getting the material. Tell about that company, what they are doing, what all the business they are doing. So then you talk about the process. Yeah. So from Safami, uh, Safami we are uh, taking uh, from uh, RT, ART group. Yeah, see, Safami is the manufacturing divisions. Okay, so what they are going to manufacture based on the project requirement, you know, whatever the request coming from the project and the project, they have various kind of activity. They have the uh, big boiler creations or maybe there is a tanker creation or there is a kind of, you know, big uh, fabrication activities. So, so there are so many type of projects. This production activity will be different. So generally, you know, uh, okay, if it is a, yeah, so here, um, so based on the project requirement, Safami is going to uh, manufacturing or they are going to procure the raw material from the external vendor and they are going to do the in-house manufacturing. Then they are going to deliver the fabrication or any kind of uh, boiler to the project site. Right. So this is the general explanation about the uh, Safami. If you talk about, let's say, Art uh, Rizayat, okay, what is they are going to do that? So they are going to... Uh, 
uh, this is one of the uh, again uh, is a project uh, related company and there is a <coughs> we have a separate division suppose if you talk about uh, that there is it divisions okay this it division we created as a separate plan so they are providing the services it related services or any kind of procurement related to their laptop or any kind of it related server or any kind of you know issues or network so they will provide the services to the all other divisions right so that we have to maintain that yeah that we have to explain uh, you know so what so now then we have to okay so that we need to explain first so then you come to the process first you give the introduction about you who are who you are so what you are doing what is your role here so like that you have to talk about the business so then you have to come to the sap process okay so without knowing safami what they are doing so then what is the use of you know uh, this fit gap so you should First, you understand what they are doing so for me, right? So definitely, as a client, I am the client. So whether you understand or not, whether you are, if you are not understanding, then it's a problem, right? I will complain against you. So you are not uh, understanding my process. How you can able to deliver the fit gap analysis, right? So that should not happen when you are in the front of client. So this kind of escalation should not arise. So on behalf of that, so now I'm just uh, you know. Uh, you know uh, act as a client side and whether you understand my business first if you are not understand then client side they will not agree without understanding my process how can you can work what you are going to deliver in the project so that's that should be the right so that is more important yeah yeah just explain you again so the high level so then you proceed with your process Yeah, yeah, proceed. We don't have time actually. Yeah, quickly proceed. Whatever you can, yeah, please. Okay, sir. So I will uh, tomorrow present uh, like the way you said. Yeah. So today See, I'm just like. Yeah, I'm I telling. To yeah, I'm, te process. I'm telling. I'm telling everyone before presenting any topic, you should know about the division, what they are doing. So if you couldn't, if you are not able to answer for all the division, at least which division, which company code, which plant you are performing, you should know before that. Simply, you cannot go. You know, on the road, you cannot sit in the car, right? You should know who is the car, what is that vehicle number, who is the driver. Everything you should know that. The same way, you have to explain about the plant, what they are doing, what is the man, you know, what the company code, what they are doing under the company code, which division you are performing this particular process, what they are doing. So maybe company code, you should know. Under that, what is the plant, you should know. Then you talk about the business process. Simply, you talk about uh, creating the service order, creating. That is everyone can do. All the Uh, any anyone know sap getting the training they can talk but you should know the business right now you are become a consultant now you should know the business then only you can give a solution without understanding my process what you are going to give a solution right so before that as a doctor you should know what is the disease why this is happening then after analysis only give a you know treatment the same thing as a consultant also you should understand what is the process so what is the business requirements right So without knowing the business, how you can able to give a solution? So that is what I'm telling. So please go through the scope document. If you are not understanding, please come back. So what is the subformy? What is that particular RCL? What is RTCL? What is catering? So what they are doing? So what I need to understand here? So what are the business process they are performing? So if you have, please come back. So this scope document is not a simple document. So right. So this is the, there is an analyst, business analyst team. They are working. They have prepared the document. That is a three months activity. That is. so then you got this particular document but if you are not at all consider you are not at all you know gone through the process so then what you are going to deliver right so please make everyone please go through your document once again please talk about each division what they are doing what is the business transaction what kind of product they are going to manufacture or they are going to sell what kind of services they are doing these are all the high level first you should know that okay yeah please proceed so actually for me i think is for documents again i need to go through because all our life process the same process i can explain but i think it's okay if i no problem so now process. okay today you can continue no issues but uh, upcoming days i'm telling you please understand the high level business process or high you talk about the company code or the division what they are doing okay that is, that is more important so now you can proceed no issues so okay. next session i need more details you know oh. yeah okay. i'm do that so in intercompany basically uh, for uh, safami group they are one from 
desired group like to procure some material so one uh, like they need material from uh, like for uh, for, for a company uh, safami to riazat so one plant to another plant they need the material so in that way they can reduce the cost for procurement and all so for inter company procurement basically one company to another company and one plant to another plant they are uh, uh, they are like uh, shipping the material so in that way they have lots of benefits like for example they can reduce the cost they can monitor in one platform like uh, their uh, uh, stock and all and the intercompany procurement flow so they can create the stock transport order first so this will be done by uh, uh, mm team and then they can do the delivery for stock transport order after that they can make the invoice after that they can do the pgi post goods issue for stock transport order after they doing the pgi they can do the invoice delivery invoice delivery is i think sd people because this is sd and mm integrated work then after that they can check the stock transfer in they can check the status of the stock so in mmb they can see the stock where the the stocks are then after that they can do the pgi post goods receipt after the pgi they can do the billing because billing is very important in that once uh, this transfer their uh, product so it's happened because like one company to another company they are shipping their product so once they are doing so it depends on company profit and loss so for that matter only billing will happen here after that they can uh, create the invoice and invoice can be created by supplier so this is the intercompany procurement process flow after that i can go to the process flow diagram so here create intercompany stock transfer order it will be like purchase a mm can we will do after that shipping is space list so if i see here shipping is space list it will done by shipping space list people here so they will create the replacement replenishment delivery intercompany stock order and after that they can do the pgi post goods issue for transfer order because they are transferring one company another company and one plant to another plant so either they can do in one sort or they can do batch wise also after that receiving space list first they have shipped from plant uh, safami they have shipped so plant riyasat they can receive so in the receiving pgl post goods receive and for outbound delivery and if after that they will confirm the quantity like how much quantity they have received or not if yes then they can do the inbound delivery after that warehouse color will do so warehouse color will check the status of stock transfer where is the stock and they can understand after that if they have not checked then post good issue for stock transfer and after that they can check the stock transfer status again then after that billing color billing color will create the billing document like uh, they have uh, shipped the material so for material they have to uh, make the billing for their uh, own uh, reference purpose after that account payable account they will create the supplier invoice so this is the process for intercompany procurement and I, if i see the sap step here first they will create the sto purchase order ud it will be document type then after that purchase out, outbound delivery it will be created by sd people then after that pgi post goods issue then they will create the billing with reference to outbound delivery after that they will create the goods receipt with reference to outbound delivery if i see the role so first creating of po purchase requisition uh, purchase order sto it will be done by mm people purchaser then after that shipping space list they will ship the material from one company one plant to another in that shipping space list will do receiving material it will be done by receiving space list uh, we will uh, check the 
uh, movement uh, of uh, stock and uh, after that billing color will take care of invoice and billing and after that payment accounts payable account okay, will take care of uh, create supplier invoice so this is the whole process for uh, intercompany programming however i feel it's not sufficient so i'll try my level best to deliver next time thank you everyone okay see here for especially for intercompany while creating the purchase requisition we know who is the desired supplier correct yes sir yeah so where you will mention the desired supplier in the purchase requisition so there is option we have to maintain there is a fixed vendor or desired vendor correct so once yes, you maintain there is a fixed vendor so could you able to create the purchase order you know automatically once the purchase requisition is created right yes, this sir. is applicable yeah this is only for the intercompany okay not for all the purchases so when you created the purchase requisition with a desired supplier or fixed supplier as the intercompany supplier for example you said there is a requirement from the safami and from that particular you know rizayat right so now you created as a in, you know as a uh, you know desired vendor or fixed vendor so now so we need to identify the purchase requ you know uh, purchase requisition document type should be unique one if whenever there is a purchase request comes under intercompany purchase request as a purchase like intercompany purchase requisition and if this intercompany purchase requisition you have to make a mandatory field as a fixed vendor okay so that you have to screen level layout you have to make it mandatory and if the user or if the you know the bis you know the you know the user who create the purchase requisition and who mentioned that you know that intercompany purchase request plus they are maintaining the vendor system should check who this vendor belongs to which uh, you know um, uh yeah so this vendor has to take in in the purchase order level and the system should automatically once the pr gets approved then your purchase order has to be created automatically and the workflow communicates to the purchaser also so the user should not create any intercompany purchase order so to uh, you know uh, to reduce the process to automate okay once your pr intercompany purchase requisition should be different document type and there is a you know there is a supplier a fixed supplier or desired supplier you have to choose then that is a mandatory field if it is maintained after approval of this pr your intercompany purchase order should be created automatically so after that the approval process has to be started so this you need to be adopted and this is one of the gap and this is how you are going to address what kind of price object you are going to use it okay so those things you have to noting down and the second thing your slides you know your ppt is not like our sap best practices one so who are i think already uh, shiju or someone they follow please follow our existing template and how to design the flow diagram and everything please follow the existing one and uh, you know uh, even the roles also i think roles and all i think you clearly mentioned but follow the template and you just start up the changes okay sure sir i will do that from yeah. okay thank you thank you sir okay so who is next so that's it today so lastly yeah so if that's it today then we'll connect again tomorrow uh, if anybody wants to present you can so please make sure uh, you know uh, to get more details about the business requirements about the you know the entity or the profit center or the company code or the plant or whatever so please understand that okay so that is what i am expecting especially from the fi team so please uh, prepare your slides little uh, follow the template what we shared and the flow diagram roles and the purpose and the benefits everything so the, use the common template and try to do that pit gap analysis okay so no issues uh, whoever is not presented today so please do it tomorrow so i am expecting whatever the process they assign to you so please you try to complete before this weekend okay so by saturday again we have the discussion and we need to present and we need to try to complete and uh, uh, you know by sunday it should be the last day from monday onwards so we need to focus on the blueprint sessions okay so try to complete if you if you don't have time please sit on saturday sunday try to complete and share the uh, fitgap document and share in the share folder or our group so that would be better for us okay so any concern anyone uh, have any other concerns or any doubts or anything please yeah